ask a question now. How can Africa secure its energy future? That was the key question raised at the Nuclear Energy Innovation Summit for Africa held in Kigali, Rwanda, an event organized in partnership with the International Atomic Energy Agency and the UN Economic Commission for Africa. And part of the answer may lie in nuclear innovation. Our correspondent Juliette Montilly reports from the summit. More than 600 million people in Africa still live without access to electricity. And with the continent's population expected to triple by the end of the century, pressure on energy resources is only set to grow. One option considered during the summit is nuclear power. Civilian nuclear energy is being seen as one of the keys to meeting Africa's future demographic, climate and economic challenges. We have not yet scratched the surface of the potential of nuclear energy uh, uh, in Africa. Therefore, we need to start industrial relationships, co global cooperation, cooperation with international institutions such as the International Atomic Energy Agency. So we put in place the necessary legal, regulatory, safety and other conditions so that we put the foundation to build uh, value addition uh, in the nuclear industry. South Africa is currently the only country on the continent operating nuclear power reactors and nuclear energy accounts for only about 5% of the country's electricity mix. But more and more African nations are showing interest and laying the foundations for future civilian programs. International cooperation is ramping up with major powers vying for influence. Russia through its state-owned company Rosatom is already active in Rwanda, focusing on scientific cooperation and training. And the United States has signed an agreement with Ghana to help develop small modular reactors. One of the key innovations highlighted at the summit is precisely small modular reactors. Compact, cheaper to build and said to carry less risk, they're seen here as a clean, climate-friendly solution to meet the growing energy needs of the continent. But major challenges remain, from infrastructure to setting up the right legal framework. These are some of the issues now being discussed by the 30 countries gathered here in Kigali, with talks continuing to tomorrow.